What is up, Pats Nation? It is Patriots Global here with another video and back with another signing that the Patriots have made. This time it's actually a tight end. So the Patriots have signed former Broncos tight end Matt Lacoste to a two-year deal worth, get this, 4.8 mil. And the number of this deal is kind of what stands out to me the most. He isn't just some random tight end that they're going to bring in for one year for like a 1.5 mil deal. And ultimately, we're going to have to see how he plays, how he fits the scheme, and just how he does with the Patriots in general. But this deal, if I had to guess, kind of tells me that this is a guy that they want to keep on the team. Lacoste is a whopping 6'6", six six, 255 pounds, and is entering his fifth season in the league. He spent 2015 to 2017 with the New York Giants, and then 2017 to 2018 with the Broncos. He had 27 receptions for 272 yards and a touchdown over the course of his career, with 250 of those yards coming from last season. He played 418 offensive snaps last season, along with 102 special team snaps, so he does have the ability to play special teams, which, of course we know, Bill Belichick loves. Lacoste is definitely the ideal size for a tight end. I mean, he's literally the same height as Rob Gronkowski. And as we all know, the Patriots could definitely look to use some height when it comes to Brady having receivers. That doesn't just mean wide receivers, it also means tight end. So the fact that he can get a guy that big definitely will help Tom Brady. Not to mention the fact that for his size, he is a pretty dang good and impressive runner. And what I mean by that is that he has dang decent speed for a guy that is six foot six, 255 pounds. Now, a lot of fans are going to say his stats are nothing. He's just going to be a guy that gets cut. And in the end, we never really do know. You know, you're just as right as I am saying that, you know, he could possibly be a guy that the Patriots sign to the team and makes the actual roster being the number two tight end, depending on what happens. But really, you can't totally base the kind of player he is off of his stats because he has just been stuck at the bottom of the depth chart on both of his previous NFL stops. So currently looking at the Patriots tight end depth chart you have Rob Gronkowski, Matt Lacoste, Jacob Hollister, Steven Anderson, and Ryan Izzo. Ryan Izzo is a guy returning from IR. I'll be interested to kind of see how he does in training camp and all that stuff. He was you know, fairly decent. Steven Anderson is another guy that I'm very interested to see. The Patriots really liked him, added him to their um, practice squad, and then brought him up to the 53-man roster later in the season, even though he was never actually active for a game. Jacob Hollister, to me, is a guy that just isn't working out, very injury-prone, shows upside, but in the end never actually does it in game. So to me, he could be just a release candidate. Now, to me, this signing was very interesting. Now, of course, we do not know what's going to happen with Rob Gronkowski. It is the offseason, so teams are always bringing in new guys to try to see if they can find just a hidden talent, a guy in the gems. But you have Rob Gronkowski that, in my personal opinion, I think will come back, but in the end, we are not totally 100% sure. You then have the Patriots rumored to be interested in um, free agent tight end Jared Cook. And then you have these rumors about Martellus Bennett coming back. Now, I honestly have no clue what's even up with that anymore. I don't even know if he's serious or if he's really truly just been trolling the Patriots like some people have been saying. In the end, we don't know. Tom Brady has tried to recruit him. New England, you know, fans have tried to recruit him. So we'll just have to see with him. Another good thing about him and is kind of a, a big thing that he served with with the Broncos and with the Giants was his run blocking. Now, he is not Dwayne Allen. He is not Rob Gronkowski, but he is a pretty dang good blocker. And I just think that he also is a guy that could be a possible threat in the actual passing game. If anybody can turn this guy's career upside down and actually make him into something then it's going to be the Patriots and I just have a feeling that he could possibly just be one of those guys that the Patriots turn into an actual weapon. I'm really curious to see how this guy does and I'm honestly pretty excited to see what he can do with the Patriots with Tom Brady and in the New England Patriots system. But that is it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on this signing? Let me know in the comments below. 
Also, make sure you guys like and subscribe. as helps me out very, very, very much. Make sure you guys share this video with everybody you know so we can grow the Patriots global family. And other than that, I will catch you guys in another video. Thank <laughs> you.